Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. We've got Rivers. Mutombo is out there with Dominique Wilkins. And it's Caldwell in at the two. Rose, no good. Here's Caldwell. He's defended by Jordan. Caldwell passes to Pettit. Rivers against Rose. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. Here's Wilkins. Good work defensively by Pippen. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Chicago. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Jordan. Good on the second, so he makes them both. First quarter of play, one minute played. Rose against Rivers. Here's the three. Hit it good. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Rose. And it's Pippen in the corner. Just five to shoot. Dikembe Mutombo pulls it in. Here's Caldwell. Defended by Jordan. Pass to Caldwell. Down low. Here's Pettit. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Dennis Rodman picks one up. And you know what? You allow shooting their first free throws of the night. The first free throw is good. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Rose kicks to Jordan. Jordan sets the pick for Pippen. Here's Gilmore. Outside Rose. Passes it to Gilmore. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Jordan. Rebound by the Hawks. Wilkins dishes to Rivers. Knocked away. Here's Caldwell. He's covered by Rhodes. They get it again. Hit it. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Yeah, that's his bread and butter. Pettit is one of the all-time greats at just battling for position and turning those misses into makes. Rose passes to Pippen. Rose kicks to Rodman. Pippen feeling it out a bit. To halt the run. And the slam dunk by Pippen. 
And I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Rivers against Rose. Here's Caldwell to the paint. Here's Pettit, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now here's Rose. And it's Pippen at the elbow. Hits the jumper in space. Pippen's got his second basket of the night. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Caldwell passes to Pettit. That shot, no good. Some solid defense by Rodman. Bulls trail by three. Over in the corner, Rose. Back to Jordan. Over Rivers. Again, Chicago. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Now the pass to Pettit. To the middle. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Shoots from 14. Another one falls for Chicago. It's graceful. There's a level of dignity that Jordan has on the floor. Just so classy about everything he does. Here's Caldwell. No scoring in this one. Matumbo is screen on Jordan. And it's blocked. And he gets it back. Here's Caldwell. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Now here's Rudd. And the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Jordan's got 10. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but not now. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Rivers dishes to Young. They need this. Atlanta again missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Twenty six seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Hagen. Just four to shoot. Willis with a screen on love. Hagen. The Hawks again can hit. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Chicago Bulls. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break.
And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bulls. Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. This is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second quarter. We've got Rivers. Also, Trey Young out there. Kevin Willis out there with Hudson. And it's Hagan in at the power forward. Now here's Rivers. Still yet to score. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Sloan passes to Armstrong. Here's Sloan. He's covered by Hudson. Sloan shot is off. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. That one falls. Hagan's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for Atlanta. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now here's Love. It's hauled in by Willis. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Hits it from three-point range. An exceptional clever passer. Trey Young won't sleep on a wide open guy. Here is Armstrong following the three by Atlanta. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Butler no good. Here's Atlanta now. To the left wing. Here's Hagen. He's guarded by Love. Young from outside. Gilmore grabs the miss. Gilmore's got his fourth rebound in this one. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Armstrong against Young. Back to Butler. Out left to the wing. Sloan, that's good. Sloan's got himself on the board with three there. And we've seen Butler develop his passing game over the years. Young looking around. A three ball. Chicago grabs a miss. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Armstrong against Young. Armstrong dishes to Sloan. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Pippen. Here's Jordan. And another miss by Chicago. Stolen by Pippen. And now here's Pippen with the fast break chance. That shot is off. The Hawks trail by three. Pass to Caldwell. Here's Hagen. He's guarded by Love. They set the pick. Fires the three. A nice shot by Hagen. Hagen's got his second bucket of the night. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Out to the right wing. And the wide open shot for Rose. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. So good off the dribble. This time, Derek shows his effectiveness off the ball. Rivers passes to Wilkins. Another three for Atlanta. Their third three-pointer in a row. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by one. 
passes it to Pippen. Back to Rose. Love outside. Shot clock at six. The pass to Rose. And he drops in the way up off the glass. It's hard to try to stop D. Rose when he's committed to scoring. Get out of his way. Rivers scanning the floor. Has to bet it. This one for three. Love grabs the board. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Joakim Noah is checked in for the Bulls. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Trey Young, he's checked in for Rivers. 136 left in the first half. Here's Hagen. He's guarded by Love. Bennett, the pass to Hagen. And the rejection by Love. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Tumbo is checked in for Atlanta. Rivers comes in for Young. Here's Wilkins. Releases from the wing and drills it. Wilkins has got five points now in the quarter. Oh, that's a great find by Matumbo. A guy who always seems to make the right play. Pippen sets a screen for Rose. Here's the floater. Jordan outside. A three. Pettit grabs the ball. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Rose against Rivers. Pass to Matumbo. Inside. Here's Pettit. And it's off the back rim. No good. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. You got to be tough down in the paint. He did a nice job of keeping him off the block. Didn't let him get deep post position. The Hawks leading. Now Rivers. To the inside. Let's it fly, and it's Pettit missing. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Rhythm. Rose scanning the floor over Rivers, and that one released in time, but no good. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hawks lead by one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Atlanta Hawks. A lot of damage has been done from out beyond the arc. Guys are getting free looks and the defense has not had an answer. They're shooting with a lot of confidence, kind of like Ernie shooting on the mini hoop. Oh, uh, Ernie used to just shoot bricks everywhere. What are you talking about? Kind of like me beating a certain colleague of ours in a three-point shootout in Oklahoma City. You were there to watch it, Kenny. Come on now. Checking out the circumstances for the Chicago Bulls. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone, Ernie, Kenny. You always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the players are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. 
we've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. They've got Dennis Rodman. Derrick Rose is out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Pippen, and it's Gilmore. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Now here's Matumbo. Nothing on the board. Pass to Pettit. That one good for two. And the Hawks lead by one. Guys, what a back and forth game this has been. Yeah, and that's already resulted in seven lead changes. Rose against Rivers. Fires high post. That one rolling around and runs out. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. It's deflected. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Now here's Jordan. He's got 12. The pass to Gilmore. To the wing on the left. Down to five on the shot clock. Rose finds Rodman. Jordan way outside. Wilkins grabs the miss. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. And the Hawks with possession here. Following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Here's Rivers. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you know, for all of his production, Rivers really is the emotional leader out there. Very intense and extremely confident. And the first one at the line is good. Rivers hits both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Rivers against Rose. Pass to Pippen. Back to Rose. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Jordan's got 14. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Atlanta calls timeout. Little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Rivers passes to Caldwell. Throws it up high. And it's Wilkins finishing it off. And I'm not sure it's even possible to throw it too high for Dominique. He has a vertical plus the length. And that's an alley-oop waiting to happen every time he runs the floor. Here's Gilmore. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Jordan. Matumbo grabs the board. Matumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Rivers against Rose. Rivers passes to Pettit over Rodman. Tries again. Here's Caldwell. Got a hand on it. Outside Rose. Back to Pippen. Passes to Gilmore. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. For Chicago, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Chicago making a switch here. Butler's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. The Hawks leading. Wilkins outside. Over Jordan. On the money from 12 feet away. Wilkins has got four points in the quarter. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. And here's Rose. There's the pass to Butler. 16 feet away. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got three assists in the game. Pass to Pettit. Here's Hagen. And the foul on Rose. That is his first foul of the game. One fifty-one left in the third. He works his tail off. And the long arms of Jimmy Butler contested that shot. Now, here is Jordan. Defense is right there. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. Rivers against Rose. Spins. Here's Rivers. He's covered closely. A nice shot by Hagen. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Rose. Jordan a screen on Rivers. Here's Rose. Up and in on the layup. Rose has got six. Derek Rose against the defense surprised him a little bit with that floating jump shot. to Pettit. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Down low. Lays it up and banks it in. Pettit's got four this quarter. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Gilmore. Passes it to Rodman. Now Rose, he's guarded by Rivers. Lock at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. From deep three-point land. Wilkins grabs the miss. And so it's Wilkins who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a one-point game. Matumbo passes to Hagen. Matumbo is screen on Buck. Here's Hagen. And the three off target. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Hawks on top, up by one. And we'll be back right after this.
And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinals. Chicago trailing here. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. They've got Johnson, and it's Caldwell in at the two-guard spot. Johnson against Pippen. Kicks it to Noah. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got three assists in the game. Here's Hagen. He's guarded by Love. To the middle. Here's Pennant. And that one is stuffed right through. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. Well within striking range. Now is when you have to lock in at both ends. Now, here's Pippen. Butler is screen on Young. Noah with it. And there's the pass to Jordan. Just five on the clock. A shot by Butler. Nobody around. No good from outside. Atlanta with the ball. They lead by one. Young passes to Hagen. A three-pointer, no good. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. From about 19 feet, Jordan with the bucket. And the Bulls lead by one. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. They grab their own miss. Pettit. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Pettit's got four points this quarter. Jordan against Young. Left side, Jordan. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Here's Hagen. He's guarded by Love. Pass to Pettit. Fires for three. It's good from long range. Pettit's got 11 points here in just the second half. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team. Coach wants them to do a better job defending the perimeter. He said we're late on our rotations, and they're getting great looks because of it. we got to fight through it. we got to take away the three. We're good, guys. Thanks, David. Chicago with the ball. Pippen finds Rodman. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Gilmore, no good. The Hawks leading. Wilkins surveying the defense. Pippen against Rivers. Pass to Matumbo. Wilkins outside. Five to shoot. Here's Pettit. It's the difficult fadeaway jumper. Pettit's got nine points in the quarter. And all second half, they haven't gotten stops with any consistency. Rose attacking. Ooh. Ooh. Derrick Rose has capitalized in big moments before. This experience helps him in these situations. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Rivers against Rose. Pass to Pettit. Back to Rivers. Four on the clock. The pass to Pettit from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Rose against Rivers. 
Michael Jordan on the wing. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got four assists now tonight. Oh, he is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Now here's Rivers. Here's Caldwell. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pippen dishes to Rodman. To tie it up. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. The heart from Rose didn't quit on the play, and his efforts are well rewarded. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Down the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity stripe? This guy. Inside. Here's Wilkins. And Wilkins with the stuff. And he just possesses that ability to wow the crowd every time he steps on the hardwood. They don't call him a human highlight for nothing. Now here's Rose. Rodman with a screen on Rivers. Here's Rose. And finished off by Rose. I will put him in the category as a clutch player. Derrick Rose delivers again. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Wilkins against Pippen. Fires at the elbow. Wilkins shot is off. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Chicago Bulls. It's a one-point game. Pippen, the pass to Gilmore. Rivers against Rose. Rebound by the Hawks. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. It's Wilkins with the drive. Count it! Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Chicago calls timeout. They're behind by one. There's 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Rose. And again, no good by Chicago. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. And they have to be careful with the ball. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six seconds left in the game. Rose against Rivers. Rodman with a screen on Rivers. Rose up on top. And it's Pippen in the corner. He's off from three. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're ahead by three. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And he is unable to get the second one. Puts up a deep three. Good. And the Atlanta Hawks will move on. A big playoff win for them. But what isn't a great big in the postseason? <laughs> huh? Great point. I, I really just love the composure with which they played tonight. It, it, it's easy to get too keyed up for postseason basketball, but they kept their heads and just went about the business of winning. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern.